Hi everybody, this is Amy Garib at Hillcrest Realty Group. I'm sitting here with Bob Gold. He is with Atlantic Bay Mortgage and he's going to give us the one, two, three about getting your clients pre-qualified to buy a new home. Tell me what we need to do when we have an interested buyer and they found a house that they like, Bob. Thanks, Andy. Glad to be here. Love being with Hillcrest Realty Group. Uh, we're the preferred lenders with with you guys, uh, love working with such great professionals. Here's the answer. Most of the time, people are going to call the agent first. They're going to find a house. They're going to see a sign in the yard, and they're going to call you first. And then your first question is going to be, have you already gotten pre-qualified? The answer to that question is usually no. Sometimes it's yes. Some people really get their ducks lined up. But the answer is usually no. And at that point, um, the agent will refer them to me and I will have an initial conversation with the borrower to just find out the background of their situation. Have they bought before? Uh, have there any, been any big credit challenges? Are they self-employed? Are they you know, salary self-employed? Do they rent? Do they live rent-free? All of that. I'm just going to have that in probably a five-minute conversation um, to get the background. And from that point, we give the borrower several different options to get their application in so we can start the pre-qualification. The, uh, the most popular way is our secured link electronically. A lot of people want to do that on their own. They can do it through their, through their um, smartphone, you know, on their laptop, and they can take their time to submit all the information. And a lot of people prefer to do that, but we still have people that are averse to technology and you know, take an application over the phone. I did that this morning, actually. Whatever works for them. It doesn't take us too long to do an evaluation if, to determine if they're gonna be eligible for a loan. The easiest type of loan to get qualified for is the FHA loan. There's really typically four loans. There are some hybrid type loans, there's you know, renovation, construction, you know, construction firm loans, but the main four loans you're gonna see are FHA, conventional, and those are gonna take about 80% of all loans. Uh, FHA, FHA, conventional, USDA, and VA. Let's just talk, talk about these two briefly so we can focus on the other two. USDA is 100% loan. It is the most difficult to qualify for because its debt ratios are a little bit more restrictive. And it has to be property specific. So it has to be a property that is in a USDA eligible area. We do have those areas around here. But when you're in the city of High Point, city of Greensboro, city of Kernsville, Winston-Salem, in those cities, you're not eligible. But outside those cities, you'd be surprised to find some of those areas that are. VA, real simple, 100% loan, a great loan, no PMI, and it is, but you have to be a veteran, or the spouse of man. Um, and then, so most everything else falls under FHA and convention. For Atlantic Bay Mortgage, we're looking at three credit scores, and we're going to take the one in the middle at, to be your qualifying score, and we need that score to be a 600 or more. If it is, then you're in the game, and from there I move forward and start looking at Income, debt, debt ratio, rates, programs, all of that. Maybe people need down payment assistance. I'll look and see if that's an option for them as well. Those loans are great, but they're a little bit more restrictive as you can imagine. So it takes me usually 24 hours to do a full evaluation of this, and then I get back to the borrower and the agent with what we've come up with. Um, it's probably going to be one of those four loans, and I'll spell out the terms of those loans. And what it looks like, I'll issue a pre-qualification letter at that time. What I'll have done is I have evaluated their income. I've probably looked at a pay stub. I've um, looked at their debt. I've run all the numbers against all the programs, and I've run an automated underwriting system. It's either going to be through Fannie Mae, Freddie Mac, or the rural housing, which would be for USDA. The VA falls under um, Fannie Credit. So I will have an automated approval. So it's kind of a, you know, garbage in, garbage out. So if the, if the information they gave me is accurate, then this pre-qualification is going to stand. If during the underwriting process we find that, oops, you don't make $25 an hour, you make $12 an hour. Well, obviously that's going to affect things. So one of the other things that we highly recommend people do is a TBD full-blown pre-approval. And this is where we actually look at your income, tax returns, W-2s, pay stubs, bank statements, and we send it to an actual underwriter, my underwriter. 
um, and she will look at it and she will bless it. At that point, we will issue a pre-approval letter, which is so much stronger than a pre-qualification letter because we've already done all the underwriting. And from that point, we just need the contract, appraisal, and title work, and we close. Can you tell me a little bit about the FHA and the conventional? Because I think in the past, people think they have to have 20% down for a yeah. conventional. Yeah. And explain, since those are the most popular yeah. loans, what do we need to do for those buyers? That's a great question. So yeah, so much has changed in the mortgage industry over the last 20 years. Really, in the last 12, a lot's changed. Uh, but those two loans, the FHA loan only requires a 3.5% down payment, minimum. Okay, that can typically be, it can, it can even be in the form of a gift, excuse me. Um, but that would have to be from the borrower. Okay, it could be the borrower, it could be a gift from the borrower's parents, it could be a relative. Okay, the conventional loan, the minimum down payment is 3%. Now these loans are a little bit harder to qualify for. They typically need a higher credit score um, to qualify for. And sometimes, we can get them approved, but maybe not at 3%. Maybe they got to go to 5 or 7 or 10, depending on the credit score and the situation. There are positives and negatives to each of those loans, and I'm not going to get into them here, but let's just let it suffice to say that the FHA loan is the lower hurdle of the two. If I can get somebody, if I cannot get somebody over the FHA hurdle, I'm not getting them over the other three. Does that help? That is very helpful. And I know with Atlantic Bay, you've done some special things on your pre-qualification <laughs> to really stand our buyers and potentially your clients apart from some of those other multiple offers. So explain a little bit what you do there. Oh, I'm glad you brought that up. So <laughs> uh, this is for our strong borrowers that I have pre-approved. I have had an underwriter look at this file and bless it along with automated underwriting. And in a competitive market where there's 20 offers on the table, and let's, let's say I have an extremely strong borrower, 800 credit score, not self-employed, long time on the job, low debt to income ratio, doesn't have to sell a home first, and plenty of reserves. What I'll do is I will actually put at the bottom of the letter, letter's pretty standard, but at the bottom of the letter, I'll put agent notes, and I'll highlight it, and I will list those. And that way, when the listing agent gets 20 offers, they don't really know which borrower is stronger than another. So it's a bit of a risk. So if they look at my letter and that they see all of these items, you know, that I just mentioned, that, that show that they're a strong borrower, then if they don't accept that offer, that's fine. But at least they know what they just turned down. <laughs> this is somebody we're going to close in 30 days. We don't get, you know, it, 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 you know we, we don't need tax returns. It's going to be a very easy deal. They're totally pre-approved already. It's just one of those just add milk kind of situations. And I think that's really sets you apart too. Is if if we as agents need a quicker close, Atlantic Bay is really good at closing those loans pretty quickly. You know, 30 days is really the number. Uh, you know, every now and then I'll ask for a little more. USDA I will ask for 45 because we have to go through mm -hmm. USDA. We're a little bit at their mercy. Um, of their underwriting turn times. We're definitely at their mercy if they're long. But uh, 30 days is really the number. Well, wonderful. I think this was a great first step, Bob. Thanks for letting everyone know about Atlantic Bay and about what we can do to get these buyers to the closing table. I, I appreciate you. Thanks, Thanks Amy. Thanks, uh -huh. Thanks y'all.